to the cloud. Okay, there we go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the general body meeting. We're going to do that over again. Um, we didn't actually do much. Uh, meeting's going to be split up into two different parts. The first part of it is the formal part, which is the actual presentation part, uh, where we'll have, you'll get to hear from a bunch of the eboard members. Uh, I'll do a lot of talking because I normally like to talk. I'm also a caster, you know how that goes. Um, and we'll get the show on the road. Um, the second half of the meeting, uh, we're going to do a little bit of Jackbox stuff. You are welcome to stick around for Jackbox. You do not have to stick around for Jackbox. The things we are going to do is first, we're going to do role models uh, with some of the eboards so you get to know us a little bit better. Um, and then we are going to, uh, if we have time later, we'll do like trivia murder party or something. So you're welcome to stick around. Uh, if not, no big deal. Uh, the only part of the meeting that's going to get recorded is the formal part. Anyway, I have to get going because otherwise uh, the person that's supposed to talk about one of the slides is going to have to leave. So let's get the show on the road. Um, about time, right? Quit your yapping. Uh, so who are we? You might be wondering, uh, especially for those of you that might have seen this uh, meeting on the uh, fair. Uh, we are the Buckeye Gaming Collective. Now, what does that mean? Well, the Buckeye Gaming Collective aims to support and grow the overall video game and esports presence on campus in a variety of ways. And you see some of the ways we do that up there on the screen, one of which is hosting events uh, that bring various communities together. Um, another one of which is fostering growth on competitive rosters to perform on a national scale. We have a handful of competitive teams uh, that do end up competing uh, in various nationwide collegiate level leagues. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Uh, attendance will be at the end of the formal part of the presentation, um, just so you all are aware. I literally just got that, so hopefully the QR code works, um, but we'll, we'll get there in a bit. Uh, but we do wanna make sure that you get credit for being here. We'll talk about why you would need credit for being here in a bit. Um, and we also grow and develop staff in a variety of areas. That can be social media, that can be broadcast, casting, uh, that can be you know, team management, conflict resolution, that can be event management, tournament organization, uh, you name it, anything that relates to esports, uh, we basically do because at the end of the day, we are basically our own student run, minimal funded esports organization. Uh, you, know, you think about esports orgs, you think of like your Fanatics, your G2s, your Team Liquids, your 100 Thieves who won LCS yesterday. Uh, you know, you think of those groups. Yeah, well, we're kind of doing that, but we're kind of doing it on a very low budget and with a bunch of students at the helm. Uh, so that is basically what we do around here. Um, so I figure that a large part of this meeting is going to be talking about ways that you all can get more involved with us beyond the events that you might just see. You know, over this weekend, we've had a variety of different events that we've kind of put on. Uh, one being a, a new collaboration with a bunch of clubs for that first gaming fair. Uh, you know, Smash Brothers tournaments, watch parties. Well, we've got a lot more uh, on the way as well. Also, apologies, the camera is like way up there. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at the people in the room. Uh, you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Sorry about that. Um, so to, uh, you know, further kind of make a clarification, we are not the people that run the Lincoln Space. Uh, the Lincoln Space is the official uh, Ohio State esports uh, and they are, you know, more official with the university. They are in the Office of Student Life in the Department of Rec Sports. So um, we are not them. However, we do a lot of collaborations with them. We do a lot of work with them overall. Uh, and certainly by coming to one thing or being involved in like one channel, you'll hear about what's going on over there and vice versa. Um, so just to make that clarification, we are completely entirely student run. I am your leader. Um, and they are more officially involved with the university. Um, by the way, I cannot see the chat right now. I assume it'll pop up if, I, if something actually comes up, uh, but let's just hold questions for the end. So if you have a question, I will not, it'll be fine. You can either write it down on a notepad or if you want to uh, put it in the general body questions channel in the Discord, you can do that and I'll probably read those off while I'm trying to set up for Jackbox. Um, so how we operate, uh, you know, I mentioned that we're an esports organization, which probably means we have some kind of a leadership structure. We'll talk a little bit about that. There is a six person e-board at the top of that. Uh, and you'll get to hear from them in a little bit uh, over the course of this. Uh, but we're basically kind of like the management and finances of the entire organization. So we make sure that everything's run well. We make sure that everything's happening and we try to resolve any conflicts that we can uh, because we are at the end of the day at the top. So we oversee club operations and the e-board every year is elected in April. 
uh, to prepare for the upcoming fall term. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about how e-board elections moderately work uh, and how you can get involved in that way if that's something you're interested in. Um, otherwise, uh, we have a bunch of minor board leadership positions, many of whom might be in this room right now. Those are appointed by the e-board and they lead a specific operation. Uh, so maybe that is the social media chair that tries to head all of our social media aspects out there. Maybe that is a team manager uh, that tries to you know, manage a team, make sure that the team is up to date on everything and make sure that they are the connection between the team and the rest of the club with the social media and things like that. And then we also have our community managers uh, that are our event leads. And so you, know, you might have met some of them at the LCS finals watch party or at the Smash Brothers tournament and things like that. We also have committees uh, and committees are kind of our entry level position. Right, so no experience necessary, just kind of show up if you want to try to help some things out, whether that's trying to help run a Smash Brothers tournament, whether it's trying to help uh, run more ongoing leagues over the course of the semester, uh, or you know anything in between. Uh, so those committees assist with the specific operation. The one thing I forgot to include on this slide was our teams, which are technically considered uh, in committees, which you'll see on the next slide. This is overall the club structure, and it looks a little daunting. Uh, but the main point of me pulling this up here on the first formal introduction to the club is that we've got a lot going on uh, and we need a lot of people to fill those roles. Uh, you know, you can see everything up there from social media, graphics, philanthropy, team managers and community managers. And by the way, you know, you look over there, it's like, oh yeah, that's not that many people over there with the competitive teams. That's a lot of people actually. When you consider we've got something like 10 games that we're supporting right now or more, uh, each with its own competitive team. That's a lot of people, community managers. We run a bunch of events and all of them are a little bit different, right? Buckeye Leagues and the Smash Brothers Tournament and the LCS Finals Watch Party. We'll have more game nights over the course of the semester as well. Loads of different events for loads of different people and loads of different interests for games. And that's one of the things that we'd like to try to preach on day one at the involvement fair is, hey, if you like gaming, we probably have something here for you. And so likewise, if you like esports and you like, uh, you know, community building or you like being super competitive and trying to, you know, be the best, or if you like growing a social media presence or you want a little bit more of that experience, we probably can offer that to you as well. So with that, uh, I figure it's about time that you actually meet the e-board, the people at the top there, uh, and not just me. So they're going to come up uh, one by one on the way up here. My name is Kenneth or Kbot. I'm a fourth year communication technology major. I use he, him pronouns. Uh, I'm currently play, playing Pokemon Unite, Smash and Splatoon. I am mostly a Nintendo kid at heart. Um, and I've done a lot of work with the competitive Splatoon community. This will be my second year as president of this organization. Uh, and I am looking forward to actually being back in person because last year was like, hold on for dear life, make sure the ship doesn't sink. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be here. Uh, and with all that out of the way, uh, I would, or I guess I should also say, as the president, I oversee everything that happens, right? So I'm making sure that we try to have the best staff uh, culture as possible. I'm making sure that, um, you know, we try to make sure that we're crossing all of our T's and dotting all of our I's. I'm like the point contact when anyone wants to try to contact the organization uh, and I can try to send them in the right direction, whether it be just directly talking with me as a representative or talking with uh, anyone else on the leadership team. That's kind of my role overall. Uh, I'm gonna have each of the e-board come on up here and talk into the microphone uh, for the people on Zoom and on the recording. Uh, and first up is going to be Noah. Yeah, don't clap for him, clap for me. All right, so I'm Noah. Teller Ryu Teller, I guess, fourth year data analytics, and I'm the treasurer for you guys. So what I do is I maintain the budget and uh, handle all the transactions and also uh, inventory for the club. And uh, that's about all I do here. <laughs> Don't have really anyone under me, though I do work with the director of sponsorships to try and uh, allocate uh, sponsors to some of the events that we run. Currently playing Fire Emblem, formerly League of Legends and Osu. That's about all for me though.
Hi, my name is Caleb. Um, I'm the director of PR and diversity. Uh, so that entails social media, broadcast, the newly diversity committee and sector, um, technically for philanthropy. Haven't done much with that yet, though. Um, and a few others, I think. Um, we'll find out throughout the semester when something needs done and I realize I haven't done it. Um, currently, I'm playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Smite, a little bit of VR, um, and I am also a communication technology major. Hi everyone, my name is Dana. I am our competitive affairs director here for BGC. I am a fourth year here at OSU studying international studies, information security. So uh, I am no longer a CSE student, sad. Uh, I've currently been playing a lot of Apex. I'm sure everyone, if you ever see the top right of Discord, it's gonna say Apex. So if you're an FPS kind of guy or want to get into it, I'm your man to go to. And yeah, he keeps changing up what pro I am, so. We'll see what it is after I graduate. <laughs> he also he also works at LinkedIn and yes. uh, the Game Arena on I Street. So you'll probably see him if you visit either one of those two places regularly. Yes, I am Columbus Esports right now. I am everywhere. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ben Zerman, and I'm your current community management director. Um, I use he, him pronouns. Um, I'm the youngest member of our team as a sophomore studying computer science. Um, a little bit about our position. I do um, pretty much all of our in-person and all of our non-competitive sort of events, um, but with the exception probably of our intramural leagues. So um, it's a little bit of what I do. Um, <laughs> I currently am playing a lot of grand strategy. Um, I also do enjoy playing Minecraft. Um, definitely depends on however I'm feeling for the day. And uh, this says, haha, freshman on here. Once again, that was like a thing from last year since youngest member of the team, still learning, um, but hoping to grow with this year since this is my first semester really in person. So thank you. Hello everybody. I'm uh, Director of Sponsorships, Will Gilbert. More people probably know me as Ohio Luigi from League of Legends stuff. I'm a third year studying, this is actually a little different now for us to tell you. I'm majoring in economics and I'm minoring in math and philosophy. Um, you didn't tell me. That yeah, it's, it is my fault distinctly. Currently, I've been playing League of Legends for uh, since I was born at this point, basically. And then when I want to have fun, actually, I play single player RPGs. So stuff like Codes of Eternity, Shadow of War. Uh, I'm a little disappointed everybody else gets funny subtext and I got pictured below with his sister, but that's fine. Uh, and sort of things I do around the club, trying to work with different cool gaming uh, businesses, maybe HyperX, cool things like that to get cool stuff for you guys to do, working on some nice merchandising for this year for the club. And uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Cool. Um, yep. yeah. I also get the pleasure of taking the next slide. So being a voting member is a really important thing. And if you guys are here today, you're taking like the first step towards that. So voting members are people who show dedication to the club and a passion for the missions and goals, which kind of talked about earlier. Voting members are the people in our club who can actually like participate in elections for eboard. So that also, the third preset. <laughs> so for requirements, uh, and again, you're taking the first step today you have to attend at least half of the general body meetings on the year. And apparently there's some excused absences you can get for attending a meeting. Um, but I mean, if you go to all the general body meetings, which you should, then that won't be a problem. Requirements as well, you have to be an active part of the club staff in some capacity. So basically if you have any sort of leadership position, you're good to go. And then you have to be a part in theory of a fundraising event for the club. Now, traditionally in the last few years, that's been a waived thing. Um, I imagine that's probably going to continue to be the case. We'll see. We get a lot of fundraising events. If anyone wants to be my fundraising chair, that'd be awesome. Uh, so takeaways, basically, if you want to be a part of the club of the decision makers, you have to play an active role and you need to, you know, be pursuing to our goals. So, yeah. yeah. Um, by the way, I want to make a real quick comment there. Uh, like, oh, general body meetings. First of all, 
Um, they are probably the easiest way for us to keep you all informed of what's going on uh, with a variety of updates and things like that. Um, secondly, um, it says that there you have to attend at least half of the general body meetings. So there are seven general body meetings typically uh, on the year, four in the fall and three in the spring. That's because normally where the uh, April general body meeting would be, there is elections. Um, so this year, we're going to do them in person, do them live on Zoom, and post the recording to our YouTube afterwards and keep the attendance forms open for a week after the fact. So if you don't fill out the attendance form, that's on you. You know, like I'm doing my best here, okay? Uh, if, you're, if you're on the mailing list, you'll get the emails, uh, you know, that Caleb will send out. Uh, you'll get pings in the Discord server that remind you general body meetings are happening. Um, so like, you know, if you miss one, I don't know that I'm going to be very sympathetic for excused absences. I'm going to be honest, like, if, unless you have a really good reason that you didn't watch a general body meeting all week, um, then like, you know, maybe you can talk to me about that. But otherwise, I mean, like, come on, guys, it was there for a week. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, keep that in a loop. That's why that new uh, Discord channel was just created today. So you're going to see all the general body meetings there. And if you forget something or, you know, you want to go back and watch something, the recording will be there on YouTube. All right, Dana, take it away. Thank you. <laughs> so as a few of you might know right now, um, the number one thing happening for BGC is things going on with teams. This coming night, once I leave here in about two minutes, I'm going to send out an announcement with all the information for all these teams with quick access. But just to note, we have... Right now, a show match going on for Rocket League. So shout out to Masseter and Co. to try to win that game, whoever they're facing. I have no idea, but that we figured that about 20 minutes ago. Dallas, is that what you said? Oh, it's called Dallas. Um, over summer, they also finished in a bunch of other tournaments, finishing up on Friday against KC Pioneers in the tournament, placed fourth in CCA, and also um, seventh for Eastern playoffs in CCA. But overall, our Club Rocket League team is honestly killing it right now and hopefully continue to see more of that over the next semester. But for other teams, we have everything going on right now. The number one thing to say is that if there's a team for it, there's somebody to contact for it, whether it's me, a manager, or if you want to create a team, it's also me. There's nothing to be left out, whether it be FIFA, Super Smash, Valorant, um, Smite even, looking at you, Caleb. <laughs> so anything is open here i'm not gonna try to quash anything i don't as long as there's a face there for it i'm more than happy to put bgc's logo behind it and just keep an eye out on the announcements page for all of that contact info to be clickable rather than readable <laughs> right. Yes, because I need to leave. Cause... Yes, he needs to leave. Uh, <laughs> by the way, Noah and or Tally, uh, you can blame me for keeping him uh, from his shift at uh, Lincoln. Uh, just, yeah, have them blame me. Bye, Dana. Um, <laughs> I have homework to do, unfortunately, because I've had four events in four days. Um, yeah, so... The thing is, we like to try to provide uh, support for as many competitive teams as possible. Uh, at the end of the day, basically, that needs a leader uh, of that team um, and as many people on the roster as are needed for most competitions. Uh, for example, in the case of like Smash Brothers, uh, that's typically at least five people to form a crew. Um, so I don't know what Smash Brothers competitions really look like other than that, other than they are crew battles. Um, so if you and five people are interested in forming Smash Brothers, uh, or, you know, if you all want to send in, uh, DMs to Dana to get that sorted out, and one of you wants to lead the team, then by all means, let's do it. Uh, same thing goes for a lot of the other games up there. Uh, also including Overwatch, by the way, uh, which is something we haven't talked a ton about. Uh, if there are enough people left over after premiere tryouts, uh, that'll happen. League of Legends, we're also waiting on more information to come out soon. Uh, those will happen after the premier tryouts close up. Those tries will close up in, what, two weeks or so, I think it is? September 12th, yeah. Uh, so they'll close up over there in about two weeks. Um, so, yeah, Dana's going to send out a ping probably while we're still all sitting here. Um, so be on the lookout for that as well. 
Uh, next up, we're going to talk a little bit more about the events we've got coming up for the month. And to do that, I'm going to invite Ben back up. Cool. So um, coming up for this next month, we have upcoming on this Friday with Minecraft Game Night, which we're hoping to host uh, partly in Lincoln, partially virtual, up to you on your preference. It's going to be running from 7 to midnight. Uh, potentially doing another build. If you're familiar with what we were doing um, last year, uh, we built the hole and a uh, bit of a clock tower in there as well. <laughs> um, then we have the next week coming in, Riptide. Kenneth knows more about that than I do. It's a Smash tournament that I believe is also includes Splatoon that's going to be occurring at Kalahari. Um, chances are, if you know what that is then or if you're interested in attending you already knew what that was <laughs> um we have a, another game night next week after i think that Hi. is also friday uh yeah it's also friday and i'm telling you you're doing a buckeye yes he's, right. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing a buckeye leagues night so we are just like it's sort of just going to be an intro to some of the games maybe meet some teammates for um running into the leagues so at the next general body meeting you can come in and say hey uh, these guys are cool. I'm wanting to run a team with them. Then after that, we have a we have a Smash Bros. tourney on that Saturday, yep. um, which is going to be doors open at 4.30, I think. Doors open at 3.30. Doors open at 3.30. Um, and that's going to be running, I believe. We're trying to get it to, we're trying to get the room until 10.30. Um, after they, yeah, after they had like told us previously that like, oh, the union closes at 10.00. And then they actually changed the hours to 11 and didn't notify me after they previously had told me it was midnight before that. So bureaucracy is fun to navigate. Um, we're hoping to give as much time as necessary to run the tournament. Then after that, we have QFest, which um, he has more details about. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he's the one to put this presentation, you can see uh, clearly. So <laughs> um, and then after that, we have our next general body meeting which also is going to be the deadline for signing up for Buckeye Leagues so if you're interested in putting a team together and running it out then that's the time to have it together by and that's pretty much it for the month of September cool um so uh there might be a handful of other events uh that we talk about over the course of uh this month uh the other two things up there in italics Riptide is a Smash Brothers Rivals of Ether and Splatoon tournament uh, that is happening up in Sandusky. The only reason I put it up here is because some of y'all might be interested to watch. Uh, you can try to spot your president as he's running around the Splatoon stream, uh, setting things up for matches. That could be fun. I don't know. Um, I believe registration for that is already closed. There might still be spectator passes still open. Um, so if you're really interested in like making the three hour drive north, uh, that'd be fine. Otherwise, you know, it'll be streamed on Twitch a bunch of places. Um, and QFest is a collegiate land that happens at the beginning of every year. The uh, League of Legends premier team run by uh, the folks over in Lincoln Tower is going to be participating in that event. So you'll probably see us retweeting a lot of Ohio State Esports tweets around that time as we encourage you all to watch the Twitch stream and support them. Or I mean, hey, I think they're having spectators out in Harrisburg uh, if you're interested for one of the first collegiate lands back. So. Uh, both kind of cool opportunities I figured I'd just shout out up here uh, as we look towards the month of September. Yeah. Are they? I didn't think I saw them on the... Uh... Oh, okay. So apparently the Overwatch team is going to Harrisburg as well, uh, for, the, for those of you on Zoom. Uh, and the Ohio State Esports uh, Twitch is also something you should all should get acquainted with. You'll see more uh, stuff on that through the Discord, through tweets, et cetera, um, because they have their own broadcast program in addition to the broadcast that we run. Uh, you see OSU, BDC, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram uh, down there. What's up? Uh, we, you, if this is the only time you see this information, Caleb has failed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, there will be individual game pings most of the time, and we'll talk, I think the next slide is about Discord. Um, so you'll see like a Minecraft specific ping go out for the game night. You'll see like Rocket League and League of Legends pings come out more. 
you'll see things like that. So we're not just picking the Ohio State role all the time because we know not all of you care about every game. And that's totally fine. Uh, that's why we have that complicated role system in place. Um, we'll get there eventually. Um, all right. So, uh, but yes, this is going, so this is going to get sent out in an email to all of you. We tend to do like general body recap emails. Uh, we'll also have individual social posts on Discord and Twitter for most of this stuff. And on that note of Discord, uh, talking a little bit about that. Oh, Caleb is going to do the slide. Perfect. I get to sit back down. I kind of did. It's okay. Um, so I have a pretty easy slide. Uh, Discord, you need to make sure that you first off um, verify your OSU email and then in bot commands, you can go ahead and put your pronoun, ah, pronouns now. And um, that is also how you add games is through bot commands. And you see, we have our updated list right here. It will also be pinned on the Discord. And hopefully I don't fail you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I literally just updated this list a few hours ago. Um, so this is not necessarily all of the games that have roles. This is just all of the ones that have channels. Uh, as you see, there are a lot of them. Um, so surely there's something there that you'll be interested uh, in doing. And you see the commands there that are highlighted in green. So it's like dot I am, and then you can type any of the stuff below uh, that thing. Uh, that image again is pinned in the bot commands channel uh, as of right now. So feel free to do that now, feel free to do that later. Uh, and whatever you would like. Um, and of course, verify your OSU email address. That's like the first thing you see when you boot up the server. Um, so please make sure you're doing that. Also, I think it's like verify hyphen email instead of verify space email. Looks like a bunch of people were typing the space. Um, and that's not how it says in the instructions. So make sure you're doing that correctly. Uh, there's a chat question. I would do Overwatch. Cool. Uh, you should you should definitely uh, get in touch with us. Um, so we talked a little bit about this earlier. It's my turn. Buckeye Leagues are here. Woo! We're actually doing them on time this year for once. Imagine that. Um, Buckeye Leagues are kind of one of our larger ongoing events over the course of the semester. So uh, we do weekly play leagues for students in League of Legends, Rocket League, and Valorant. You see the logos over there on the right side and the daily times that they'll be played. Uh, I might have to double check. League of Legends actually might not be 6.30. Uh, Danny is either somewhere in this room or right there. Uh, say hi to Danny, everyone. Um, Danny is the community manager that does this. I, I actually can't remember. Is it 6.30 or 7? I don't remember. Okay. It's trust the one that's actually in Discord, not the one that's up here. Um, because that's when we'll do it on the one on Discord. Um, but Buckeye Lowell Sunday evenings, Buckeye Val is Tuesday evenings, and Buckeye Rel is Wednesday evenings. Um, we are open to players of all skill levels. Uh, and the way it basically works is that if your team keeps winning, you'll get paired against teams that also keep winning. And if you keep losing, you'll get paired against teams that also keep losing. So hopefully by the end of the five-week season, you'll be facing more competitive opponents over the course of that season. Uh, we offer solo and team registration. You cannot sign up as two people. You have to either sign up as one person or a completed roster. So in League of Legends, Valorant, that's five people. And in Rocket League, that is three people. Um, if you have questions, you can DM Danny Beans. Uh, Danny is the community manager that's going to be leading up these leagues this semester. So I don't have to do it. Woo! Um, and uh, momentarily, I did not make this happen already. Uh, but Buckeye info, Buckeye Lowell info, and Buckeye Val info will be open and readable to all Ohio State students that have already verified uh, that role. Uh, so in order to actually register for the leagues, you'll have to type like, going back to the Discord thing, you'll have to type like join Buckeye Buckeye Lowell, or Buckeye Val. That'll get you the role to unlock the rest of those channels and also so that we can ping you. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, you'll be able to see the rest of that. So, cool. Um, those are there. More information will be posted in the Discord in just a little bit. Uh, registration for the leagues. I kind of skipped over this. Uh, this is kind of important. Uh, registration will close in exactly four weeks and a few hours. Um, so you have more than enough time to try to find a team, decide if you want to play, um, or whatever the case is. So, um, more than enough time. And the main reason why we picked this deadline is because we can remind you at the next general body meeting that registration closes in a few hours. 
uh, because we know that some of you might forget. So uh, definitely um, join that if you are interested. What's up? The question, the question was, can Scarlet and Gray players uh, play in the leagues? Those are like competitive teams. The answer is no. Uh, we don't let uh, premier or club players participate in these leagues. Uh, and that is because we know you guys are already good. That's why you guys did tryouts and everything like that, right? We wanna see everyone else uh, play. So that would be uh, preferred. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, but that's actually a good point, thank you. Um, next up, Allison's going to talk about a little program, uh, that she's been making. So everyone say hi to Allison. Uh, hi guys. Uh, I'm a community manager and also on the diversity team. So you'll see me around. Um, but this is a new program. It's kind of like a big little program. Um, it's basically just pairing you up with someone else. It can be based on like someone who's in the same major as you, who plays the same games as you. That's something you can mark in the form. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to just DM me or ask me after this meeting. But that's the QR code. Um, if you're interested, we'll also put it out in announcements, I'm sure. But yeah, nice to meet you all, if I haven't met you. Um, yeah, so this is the new program that we're doing this year. Um, I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for those of you that are looking to make another friend, maybe, might be looking to make, uh, you know, get in contact with an upperclassman. Um, or the like. Um, I'm still on the fence if I am going to join. The only reason I don't might not join is because I am a very busy person um, and I would not have the adequate amount of time to uh, actually talk with any of you, but definitely a good opportunity uh, and you're in good hands with Allison. Um, with that, I believe that is everything uh, of the formal presentation. Oh, upcoming stuff. Uh, things that are on the radar uh, coming up. Uh, one is jerseys. Uh, you see these things that like Noah and I are wearing and Jeremy's wearing in the back there. Uh, we have jerseys. We have a company uh, that does that with us. We're working on that. It'll be a slightly refreshed design. It's not going to look like that. Um, so it'll be a slightly refreshed design uh, and you will see more information come out with that probably within the next month. Uh, so definitely stay tuned on that if you're interested. There's also going to be a bunch of stuff. Like we might even get like a little mask that's got the BGC logo on it uh, front and center. So uh, definitely stay tuned for updates on that. Uh, you see there a picture of the Halloween game night from two years ago, uh, which we are looking to try to bring back. Uh, so hopefully that'll be a, another kind of fun uh, and good opportunity. I just like the picture. This is like the only picture we had of the people that were actually in costumes. Um, and there are some old faces up there as well. Um, and Lastly, uh, the virtual day of play is not on Saturday, November 21st. That was last year's graphic. Uh, it's coming up actually in October. Uh, that is one of our larger fundraising uh, events over the course of the year that we partner with Buckeye Thon to pull it off. So uh, you'll hear more information about that coming up. It'll be a one day thing uh, where there's gonna be a bunch of stuff to do uh, and we'll have some uh, activities and interactions with some of the kids that have been uh, affected by Black Python and all through gaming, because who doesn't love gaming, right? Um, all right, with all that out of the way, I'm now gonna show you the QR code for attendance. So please pull out your phones at this time uh, and scan the QR code. Uh, while you all are doing that, uh, I'll take questions. So if anyone in the room right now has questions or anyone in uh, Zoom has questions, uh, I'll pull up the chat now. The thing here is that the chat is going to appear on the screen in the room, um, so that is fine. Also, if you if there is anything here that interests you and you don't hear from us, please DM somebody. Uh, obviously, all of the eborn introduced themselves already, so if you want to, you know, help out with events, talk to Ben. If you want to help out with like social media or broadcast stuff, talk to Caleb. If you want to help out with finances, talk to Noah or Will. If you want to help out with uh, uh, teams, talk to Dana. And if you don't know where to go, talk to any of us and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Um, so that is cool. I am at home suffering with allergy sickness. However, who there plays smite? Um, mod check, any smiters? Yeah, uh, Allison says, Braden, that priority one is highest 
priority five is lowest. Uh, and she is going to clarify that right now. League anybody. Yes, there are a lot of league players. Uh, that's one of the most popular games around here. Add Splitgate to Discord. That is a good idea. How many people show of hands Splitgate players? A lot more than Smite. Just going to throw it out there. <laughs> um, Nishant, there's already a speedrun channel. Um, <laughs> I think you were on eboard. You were on eboard when we added that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, Buckeye League's registration. You're asking because the attendance form. Uh, it closes in four weeks. It does not close this week. Why would I announce it and close it within one week? Uh, in four weeks, it's got plenty of time uh, for you to take a look at that. Uh, generally interested in helping with BGC this year, who should we talk to? Uh, so we're going to ask you, what do you want to do? Um, and you can have that conversation probably with me directly and we can try to get you pointing in the right direction. Did I see someone, a hand up in the room or no? No, okay. Um, Halo Infinite in December, there's a Halo roll too, I'm pretty sure. What's up? So uh, the problem right now with Overwatch, well, there are multiple problems right now with Overwatch. Uh, the historical problem with Overwatch is that six player rosters take quite a hit. Um, and so with not enough players, like we can barely even field a club roster for Overwatch, let alone uh, pulling out a whole nother one. If there's enough interest in a split gate league, maybe we can do it. Um, but I don't know how much interest there's going to be. Yeah, it'll probably be more of a game night thing. Yeah. What's up? On what? Club teams. Uh, you can DM a variety of people. What? Uh, I mean, if you want more or you want directed in the right uh, place, talk to Dana first. Um, or just wait for the announcement that he's going to send out in hopefully like five minutes or less. What's Yeah, somewhere in the slideshow. We'll post the recording uh, in the Discord channel later. What's up there in the back? Uh, we ask everyone to play their matches uh, at the time of the league. So for Buckeye Val, that is Tuesday at eight. Um, we would prefer that you don't reschedule them every week because that just kind of gets, uh, you know, more of a pain to keep track of everyone. Try to have everyone play at the same time. Um, so like if something comes up one week and you really need to reschedule, then like obviously we can try to be flexible with that. But most of the time, like if you're not available on Tuesdays at eight, then you probably shouldn't sign up for the league. Um, more information on all that is going to be put in the uh, rules that'll be listed in the info channel. Uh, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. I just have to like make those public. Wait, did someone make those public already? No, I asked you guys to do that before while I was running to my house to pick up my water bottle. That sounds like I'm about to make a, and that's at a League of Legends for you, everybody. I mean, that's what I was doing all day yesterday. Oh my goodness. Speedrun isn't public to all members. That would explain it. Okay, I'll change that. Um, ask the room who, who their main is. We're not gonna go there. Uh, instead, we're gonna play Jackbox uh, first with the members of eBoard. So I'm gonna get that set up. Uh, again, if you all want to leave and you don't wanna meet any of us and you don't wanna be social, that is fine. Uh, if you do wanna stick around and be social, of course, we'd love to have you. Uh, for those of you that are heading out, uh, thank you all so much for joining. I'm going to stop the recording now. We'll probably keep the Zoom room up, but I will not make any promises in terms of uh, like actual audio quality on Zoom. Uh, so thank you all for stopping on by uh, and let's play some Jackbox. Uh, by the way, we're doing Jackbox because you all can join the audience. Um, so that'll be more apparent in a bit. Um, yeah, thank you all for coming by up there on Zoom. Um, okay, cool.